all right it's a bit chilly out here today but just to give you a little idea of what I can come to is as close a guarantee to catching moles voles and all those other little vermin um, out this out there you have to check out what I'm doing it's freezing out here today it's about 40 degrees maybe a little less what you're gonna see in here is I put out a trap six o'clock and by the time I checked that trap around 10 or 11 o'clock the next day I'd caught two okay everyone been getting a lot of questions about how do you catch these moles and these voles and uh let's see what we got here this is what i use to um catch those little things um, it's called the Tomcat pressing set. This thing is incredible. So, what we're going to do is show you. So, right here, you put your uh, seed in this part before you press it. So, you drop some seed, drop some seed. And then you press it. And now you have these devices here. Okay? Once something goes in them, they are stuck. Ah, there you go. See that? Okay, what you see here are the holes that these little things come up in. And um, all I'm doing is I'm just putting the trap next to the hole. You know, so once I see that that hole is right there, I put them about six, eight inches apart. I've put up to four or five at one time and caught four or five at one time. Okay, add a little bit of bird seed mix. Um, Sunflower seeds will attract chipmunks like crazy. So, I mean, if you have chipmunks, this will work too. Um, but the main thing is just some, you know, bird seed mix, whatever it is. You drop a few in the hole, you drop a few around the uh, trap, and then you just cover the trap up. I can say that probably 99% of the time, I can come out within two days, depending on what the weather is like and I will find something in that trap. When I don't find anything in the trap, I notice that all my tunnels start to leave. So I know that I've gotten most of it. So you just cover it up and then you see what happens. One thing you're gonna have to remember with this setup is every now and then a raccoon will come and turn over to get your seeds if you're in the raccoon area. So look at this. Maybe I should get a little stick here so I can show you. All right. This, this little gray line, this is tunnels. All, over, all through the winter, they go down into this wetland and then they come back up to the beds. I'm not sure what attracts them up to the beds when they have this you know, huge wetland area to just do whatever they want. <laughs> but they come up there and they cause all of these issues with your plants, your root systems. So I'm coming all the way up. You figure, I don't know, three foot a step. So we're talking 30, 40 feet. <laughs> 
that's one of them so let's look at another again up under my Japanese maple tree right here all the way up under the mums so what, let's go back over and check the trap see what happened a day later take off this little flower arrangement holder I did that because the wind was blowing hard now the chipmunk trap was just sitting there I didn't even set that but look what you see right here are two of these little moles or shrews or whatever they're called and they're caught this was less than 24 hours it's like they can't resist that bird seed so I just put it right where the tunnel comes out set the trap these traps cost about five bucks six bucks you get your big thing of bird seed and you know all you need is a few crumbs of the bird seed it'll last you two years all right, this is the closest thing that I can think of as far as a guarantee to help you with your mold problem. This is the line, Jenkins.